this is a catalytic converter. This is something of a mystery to a lot of people that don't understand exactly what a catalytic converter is and, and how it works, but um, it's, a, it's a very simple device and actually rather ingenious uh, considering how effective it is at reducing tailpipe emissions from your uh, normal cars and trucks. This one here is one that we can actually take apart and look at the inside, so that's what we're going to do. We can take the cover off and we can look inside. And inside of this catalytic converter, it's going to look pretty much like most catalytic converters on the inside. This one has a few little things that are a little bit uh, interesting or different in a way. This, this cat comes from, it's meant to be a generic replacement for a catalytic converter that's gone bad. But what we have inside here, this would, this would be the inlet on this end of the, the catalytic converter and this would be the outlet over here. Inside we have two substrates that are made of a ceramic material and this is really where the magic inside the cat happens. So there's, there, there's two of them. Now both of these do a slightly different or perform a slightly different function. At the beginning of the catalytic converter and this being what we call a three-way catalyst we have our reduction bed or the the reduction portion of the cat of the cat. This piece here is coated with some precious metals um, particularly rhodium and what rhodium does is as the exhaust gases pass through all these little small pores in this piece the rhodium will reduce NOx and reducing NOx that means it will take the oxides of nitrogen and it will split the oxides of nitrogen back into um, nitrogen and oxygen so that uh, we have nitrogen and oxygen continuing on through the rest of the catalytic converter. Now it's important that the reduction bed of the three-way cat be first because we're going to take that oxygen that we've just um, stripped the nitrogen from and we're going to put it into the next bed of the cat which is the oxidation bed. And in the oxidation bed or um, oxidation portion of the catalytic converter we use platinum and palladium. So platinum and palladium coat the ceramic substrate of the oxidation portion of this catalytic converter. And of course to, to oxidize means to, to um, take oxygen and attach it to the molecules that, that you're dealing with. So in this portion, or in the oxidation portion of the catalyst, we are oxidizing hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. Hydrocarbons are essentially unburned fuel. So they're, they, they haven't, the fuel that, that passes through here in the form of a hydrocarbon hasn't burned at all. So by oxidizing that, those hydrocarbons, we're essentially burning the hydrocarbons and that's going to, that's going to make them or turn them into CO2 and H2O. The other thing that is the CO, we're oxidizing the CO. Now CO is partially burned fuel so it's partly converted to CO2 but it's not CO2, it's CO and that's different. So what we're going to do is take some of the oxygen and we're going to attach it to the CO so that we have CO2. And then we ideally, what we have coming out the back over here is going to be nitrogen, uh, a little bit of oxygen, H2O, and CO2. That should be everything that we have coming out of the catalytic converter. And if we can, if we can get to that point, um, then our, our emissions are going to be fairly clean. Now, we're never going to be perfectly clean. There's always going to be some CO left over, and there's always going to be some hydrocarbons left over, and there's always going to be some oxides of nitrogen left over. But we want to come as close as we can. Now some of you might be thinking, what is this tube here in the middle? Well, this is an old feature that used to be common on cars a long time ago. And so the, on this generic cat, they put this tube here in case you still need to use, or you know, if you're welding this onto a, an exhaust that still has this feature. But coming in to the tube, we have air. So ambient air, and that comes from what we call the air system, which is actually an acronym that stands for air injection reaction. So there's a, there's a pump that is turned by the engine. Some pumps are electric and sometimes we call it a smog pump and what it's actually doing is it's taking ambient air and it's pumping it down here into the catalytic converter. And The reason we pump it in right here is so that we can have extra oxygen 
to allow the oxidation bed of our catalyst to work properly. Because we need to have oxygen in here in order to oxidize. Well, if we have a situation where the, the vehicle's running a little rich, we are going to, we're not going to have any oxygen in the exhaust. But having oxygen pumped in from our, our smog pump up, on, up near the motor will be able to, um, we'll be able to make our oxidation bed of our, our catalyst work. So anyway, that's the, the basic function of the catalytic converter. A lot of people seem to think that the catalytic converter is there to rob the vehicle of horsepower. Um, it, it doesn't. These, these pores here are very open, uh, very easy to pass air through this. Now sometimes they do melt down, and when they melt down, they, they do plug up the exhaust. Um, and then, but then you're, you're, you're talking about a, a failure of the engine management system at that point. Um, because these don't plug, these don't melt down and plug up unless they get overworked. Um, that's the thing that will, will make them plug up. So generally speaking, the catalytic converter is not an enemy of horsepower. It's not an enemy of performance. The catalytic converter works very well for reducing emissions out the tailpipe and that is certainly a good thing.